Detroit Police Chief James Craig cracking down on crime. Yesterday, we watched as he shut down a gas station accusing the owner of selling bags of drug paraphernalia. So we wanted to know just how widespread this problem is in the city, so we sent out 7 investigator Jonathan Carlson to get some answers. Take a look. Hey there, it's hard to tell because I've got a feeling a lot of shop owners around here were spooked by the chief. One by one, I went into some of Eight Mile's long standing mini marts. Do you sell brown bags, ready kits? Without a camera crew, I asked for brown bags or ready kits. They're $5 bags of drug making materials. At each place, no bags. Maybe I don't look like a drug user. Maybe the chief's raid sent a message. Maybe it's not widespread. But to hear the chief speak, it is, he says. Why are you on close me down? I mean, what's, you know, you, you didn't catch anything with me like drugs. It was yesterday when he and his officers seized nearly two dozen brown bags at this gas station at 8 Mile and John R. He and the owner got into it. The owner saying, hey, it ain't drugs. What's the big deal? But the chief wants these shop owners to know they're being watched. It's got the appreciation of those living around here. But it's just bad when, when our neighborhoods go such down the drain that you can buy drug paraphernalia at the gas station? Come on. Anybody willing to do anything now to make an extra buck? So what else is you selling that we don't know what you selling? As for this gas station at the center of yesterday's raid, as we first reported at 5, the owner in the city of Detroit appeared to have come to a tentative agreement to reopen this place possibly as early as tomorrow. There is a meeting scheduled for 10 a.m. to discuss everything. We're on the east side. I'm Jonathan Carlson, 7 Action News. We'll certainly continue to follow that story. Well, General Motors.